In this video, we are taking a look at these, the New Balance Hero 7. To 40 runs now a bit of a trail shoe video and uh, i'm not really a, a massive trail runner i would say um i'm a everyday runner who likes to go and do a bit of trail running um multi-surface is probably or multi-terrain is, is probably what i would describe myself as do a little bit up in broxbourne woods obviously down the canal toe pass as you guys know if you follow the channel um you know through the parks and things like that i'm not some hardcore technical guys running up and down mountains that said, I did run up and down um, Mount Snowden here in the UK, and we are going up Ben Nevis later in the year, so maybe I should give myself a little bit more credit. But anyway, uh, I wanted to get my trail shoes sorted out. Uh, if you've not seen the video, I've got the Tecton X, which I absolutely love from Hoka. But I was looking at um, a uh, sort of new trail shoes for just everyday wear and tear. Sounds funny, but if i'm not looking to tear up the trails or i'm looking you know just to just to plod along uh, and have some fun um there's a nice three mile loop that i do with buddy you know we run around that up there and it's nothing technical but it's great fun i want something comfortable and when i saw the hero and i think it's hero it's h-e h-i-e-r-o -R i think it's hero uh, version 7 come out I thought, you know what, I'm going to have some of that. And the reason it is, is because I've been such a big fan of the New Balance 1080 version 12 this year. Now, the Hero 7 has got the Fresh Foam X um, from or what is in the 1080 version 12. That's why I've decided to go with the shoe. Um, in terms of stats and features, let's get on that quickly. Um, I think from memory, it's £130. We've got an 8 mil drop. Uh, we've got some new uh, Vibram uh, outsole on it uh, with some downhill grip as well. You ain't going to see it on here, but there's some like knobbly bits uh, on there, but they've uh, played around with it. It's, it's shaved about, now I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get this one, about 20% off the weight versus the previous version by um, playing around with the outsole. Grams is 307. That's 10.85 ounces for my UK 9.5. I don't think that's too bad for a trail shoe. Uh, we've got a new mesh upper on it, uh, fits true to size, it's a new balance, but watch your pinky on the outside, outside here, along the lateral side. They've got some overlays, oh, let me show you. Uh, come on camera, there's some overlays there, right? And my little toe did rub on the outside uh, for the first couple of runs. It got better in the end, but just watch, even like again here, oh, come on camera focus, see that? See where that's there? So your toes can get a little bit hot if you're not careful. It does get better, but just be aware of it. There is some overlays on the shoe um, where they put like toe bumpers on and stuff like that, which can rub, so just be aware of it but for me it has improved we've got some nice um pull tabs here on the midfoot to create a, bit, uh, a really good lockdown got some stability in the heel pull tab uh, to get them on and off and that's probably about it in terms of the stats and features oh i think it's got a eight mil drop yeah it has eight mil drop so have a get of it it's it's great um part run brilliant um you know some of those part runs that are multi-terrain if you're not looking for a time stick these on um up the back here i've got a run that i do that's uh, across a field basically it's a field loop great thank you very much um it does exactly what i want it's cushioned it's soft um and it's just a comfortable shoe with loads and loads of grip the new balance um 1080 version 12 has not got the best grip in the world it's got that blown rubber out so so you know if i'm looking to do something like i said up there or i'm looking to run across the fields at the back uh, and do a bit of road work on the back perfect thank you very much it just does everything you, you want from a sort of multi-purpose 
shoe. It's along the lines of the Pegasus Trail shoe. Um, you know, the Pegasus Trail 3, the Trail 4 is coming. Um, so that'll be a good comparison against this shoe when that does come out. I will get that shoe. I always get the Pegasus Trail because I'm just a massive fan. Uh, but I'm really enjoying this because I think because of my love of the 1080 version 12 this year, I'm really enjoying this. This is this is a great addition to the rotation um, for the year. It, it, it's yeah, it does exactly what I want from a sort of multi-terrain running shoe.